Welcome to the OLV Daily Reflection for Tuesday, November 8th. The Gospel passage for today's Daily Mass comes to us from the 17th chapter of St. Luke's Gospel. It reads, Jesus said to the apostles, Who among you would say to your servant who just came in from plowing or tending sheep in the field, Come here immediately and take your place at table? Would he not rather say to him, Prepare something for me to eat. Put on your apron and wait on me while I eat and drink. You may eat and drink when I am finished. Is he grateful to that servant because he did what was commanded? So should it be with you. When you've done all that has been commanded, say, We are unprofitable servants. We have done what we were obliged to do. Today's parable might be challenging for some of us because of the idea of someone being forced to be a servant or slave in today's parable. But Jesus is using this teaching to challenge our notion of what is required of us as a result of a relationship to another. So in the ancient world, a servant or slave would never switch roles with their masters or rulers because the relationship that existed wouldn't allow such a reversal or a change. And either party would have accepted this. A master tells the servant what to do, the servant responds to what the master wants, and again, this relationship would never change. But what's challenging for us is that we live in a contemporary environment where we focus on individualism. We focus on people's opinions being more important than the opinions of others. But even in light of these contemporary realities, we do have relationships in our lives. And these relationships are important. And we take on certain responsibilities, certain roles as a result of these relationships. So Jesus points out, what do you do with this relationship that you have with others? But also, what do we do with the relationship we have with Christ? Especially, again, when we know how much Christ has done for us. He saved us through his death and resurrection. He continually offers his body and blood to us through the holy sacrifice of the Mass. He teaches us through sacred scripture what is necessary and required for salvation. So he truly is someone who we can claim as being the source of the most important relationship in our lives. Without Christ, we lose so much. Without Christ, we don't have our identity. Without Christ, we don't know what we should be doing either. So this is where, what does that relationship with Christ require of us in our lives? And each of us are going to have to answer this question differently. But if we look to our relationship with Christ, I do believe that last line in today's gospel is really helpful and insightful. Because given everything that Christ has done for you and for me, we truly are just unprofitable servants of Christ. And we hope we're doing what we're obliged to do. But maybe we're even struggling with that in our lives. Maybe we're struggling to do daily prayer. Maybe we're struggling to get the Mass. Maybe we're struggling in being charitable. Maybe we're struggling with our pride and selfishness. Whatever it might be. But again, if we examine our relationship with Christ, are we truly living in a way that reflects all the goodness that He pours into our lives each and every day? And again, we may feel at times that it is more not what we want in terms of our lives. Maybe going to Mass feels more like an obligation than an honor. Maybe our daily prayer does feel more like an obligation than an activity we look forward to. But again, brothers and sisters, we remember the relationship. We remember what Christ has done for us. 
And if we could stay focused on that, I believe we can animate our lives in such a way that we respond to Christ in a way that reflects our discipleship, but also reflects our desire to deepen and grow our relationship with Christ each and every day. Our Lady of Victory, pray for us.